Good afternoon, everybody. Today we're in St. Mary's Church in Moulton St. Mary. This is what's known as a redundant church. It's got all its fittings, but no church services take place here anymore. There may be the odd one, but I'm guessing at that, I don't know. I think I do think um, weddings take place, but maybe you can hire it for a little service of some sort. I seem to recall reading that somewhere in the past. Lots of lovely features in here still remain. If you've watched my... Um, recent church video from St Peter's Church at North Birmingham I told you about these large marble plaques shrines that appear on church walls dating probably from about the 1600s well, this is a fantastic example of one of them As I said in that other video, imagine how much something like this would cost today. I mean, the carving of those people alone, look at that. The intricate detail of the collar on her dress, look. These fascinate me. All churches seem to fascinate me. I don't know why. I don't. I never go to a church service, but I just seem to be drawn to churches and graveyards. It's quite bizarre, really. So I've come in the church first because I knew it would be open. But really, I'm itching to get out into the graveyard. <laughs> I'm strange. I know I'm strange. How many of you know what that is? Do you know? Well, that bottom piece in there is a metal wreath that would go on a grave and it's from 1906. And then the glass dome would sit on top of it. And then the metal piece on top of that pegged into the ground. It's great that it still remains here. I've only seen one other one, and that is at Sunhouse Church, and that's actually outside in the graveyard still. Wickhampton has, inside the church, the dome and the metal frame to protect the glass, but it, from what I remember, it doesn't actually have the metal wreath. In time, I'll go back round and film all these different churches in the area, as well I put out one of these videos. They all seem to be very well received. I'm quite surprised, actually, but a, a church video generates the most comments there's definitely a lot of interest in them. Look at these gorgeous steps. Obviously original steps. What were they for, do you think? They stop there now, but I'm sure at one time they would have gone right up. With some wood there, so there's obviously some sort of railing to hold on to. Ever so tiny, though, aren't they? At one time, every church had these pictures in them. They're medieval paintings, 
and they tell different stories about pilgrimages and things like that and warding off evil and telling people to behave. There's this one over here. But at the time of the Reformation, all churches had to whitewash over them, get rid of them. And over the years, some people have done restoration and got little parts of them. Which is just amazing. Amazing that they're still there underneath the paint, medieval paintings. This looks rather grand, doesn't it? Anyway, let's go and have a look outside in the graveyard and see what we can find. Might be able to find something interesting that I can look up, do a bit of research on. people buried in this churchyard with the surname Wright. So we've got here Henry, Ursula Wright, 